So, hi, and welcome to the fifth part of this series. And in this part, we will begin working on the vertex buffer class. Now, uh, it will take a couple of videos before we actually get something new on screen, but it will be worth it, I hope. So, you can begin by creating a new class. And you can name it vertex buffer. Great. And make sure to include in the header file jlf slash jlf h w and then just create class vertex buffer and private public. Now um, what this class will do? It's basically a data structure to store all of our vertex data. Now, what's a vertex? A uh, vertex is basically a point in, in 3D space defined by three coordinates, x, y, and z, and a couple of, of attributes like, like color and normals. I'll explain more on that later. But for now, let's worry only about the vertices now. Um, to send a vertex to OpenGL, so to the to uh, the graphics card. The best way to do that in OpenGL is to use something called a vertex array. And to do that you have to create a vertex buffer which is like a, yeah, just a memory, just a block of memory on your graphics card. Now, um, for this game engine thing, whatever, it's it will be best to create a, a data structure to store all of our information on our vertex buffer and, and additional information on the vertices. Yeah, well, more on that later. So for now, just let's create our constructor. So just like vertex buffer. And for now, it will only take two arguments. Namely, it will take a constant gl void pointer to data. And it will also take a gl size ptr and you can just do size for that one. Now, uh, the first argument is it just is a pointer uh, to our vertices. And the second one is uh, it will store the size of that data. So if we store like one triangle is, is like nine vertices, it's three points, so it's like, uh, so it's, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's it's three points, so it's only three, uh, three vertices. I was kind of confused with the, the coordinates there for a second. No matter. Okay, so now um, let's also create our, our destructor. So uh, alt vertex buffer. Okay, now uh, in the private section, let's also create a chill unsigned int, and you can simply name this vertex vertex buffer id. And what this is is basically an id of the of the memory location of the buffer. It, it's like a pointer to the buffer for in, in the the graphics memory so every time we have to access a buffer or modify it we can can do that with this id and let's also now create um create create a a get method for the our buffer so jail inside and get vertex buffer and obviously we don't want to make a, a set method so, yeah. Oh. So in vertex text buffer .cpp, you can type gl unsigned int vertex vertex buffer get vertex buffer and sorry, it's vertex buffer id. So vertex buffer id. Make sure to also update that in the header file. And simply do return underscore vertex buffer ID. Okay, now 
our constructor. So vertex buffer. Yeah, vertex buffer at one point, vertex buffer. Our constant gl void pointer to data and our gl size ptr for the size. Now to create a new buffer, the first thing you call is the glgem buffers function. The first argument indicates the amount of buffers we want to create. So in our case, only one. And the second one is a, is a reference to the to the variable that we want to store the ID of the buffer. So the vertex buffer ID variable, which is created. Then uh, we have to bind the current buffer. So binding a buffer simply means uh, we are using that buffer right now so that we want to use that buffer right now so we are selecting that buffer as our current buffer and the first one indicates the target so with us that gl array buffer because we want because yeah we want to create an, an array buffer which I'll explain later in more detail but for now just know that um, and then the ID of the buffer. So the vertex buffer ID. Then we want to store the data. So simply do GL buffer data. And again, the target GL array buffer. And you can only have one GL, uh, GL array buffer uh, bound at any time. So in our case, is is the buffer we just created. Then a pointer to the size. So our variable we have, so size, and uh, and the uh, pointer to the data, so data, and then the usage. So um, I don't think we'll ever use anything less than static draw. Well, at least at this point, and what static take draw basically is it's a hint to the the GPU, which which uh, which indicates that. This data we are sending, it will remain the same for the the for the the program for the life of the program. So we won't change the data inside of this buffer for the remainder of the program. So yeah, it's a small optimization you can do. Okay, then uh, RD structure. So again, vertex buffer. Vertex buffer. And to delete a buffer, simply do uh, gl delete buffers one and add vertex buffer ID. So it's always necessary to delete the buffer to 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 properly free all the memory. And to be safe, you can always do vertex buffer equals zero. Okay, so here we have the basic outlining of our buffer. Um, in the next video what we'll probably do is we'll, um, we'll begin on our shader loader. So yeah, um, this is by no means a finished class. We will expand this, this greatly in the future. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Bye.